Good evening. Beginning tonight with more on a major transition, mobile carriers will be shutting down their 3G networks this year, which will eventually classify older cell phones as useless. Now, the retirement of the 3G network is to make room for more advanced networks such as 5G, which is much faster. 23 ABC's Brianna Polk joining us live from Northwest Bakersfield now to share insights about the upcoming end of the 3G era and how this will change, uh, how this change will uh, impact you, Brianna. Over the years, we've seen 2G, 3G, 4G, and even a fifth generation cell service. But with the end of the 3G era, many older cell phones would be unable to send text messages and make phone calls, including to 911. The general progress is important, and we support, of course, the rollout of 5G uh, capacity for people. But the trend, of course, also means that we're losing the 3G capacity. And for some people that are holding those old devices, there's a problem here. Companies such as Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile are some of the leading mobile carriers in Kern County and across the U.S. However, Tom Camber, executive director of OATS at AARP, adds that there's a particular group that needs to take action soon. What we're finding, of course, now is that disproportionately, the 3G sunset is affecting older people. Uh, they've got some of those devices that might be 10 years old. You're looking at an old iPhone or a, an old uh, alarm system in your home. And so seniors particularly need to, to look at what they're using and what's important in their in their homes and their emergency response devices and things. In a statement, Mike Hoberman, network vice president of Verizon, said in part, quote, as they move closer to the shutoff date, customers still assessing the 3G network may experience a degradation of complete loss of service. That is why carriers are urging everyone with 3G devices to upgrade as soon as possible. It can be an older flip phone or something that looks like a smartphone, but if it's turning off, the problem is we don't know for sure until it's been tested. And many people are holding that phone that they only use for emergencies. And it may be sitting in your desk drawer or on your kitchen counter. And in an emergency, when you go to turn it on, if you haven't tested it since 3G sunsetted, you won't, really, you won't know. But the shutdown of the third generation service does not only affect phones. According to the Federal Communications Commission, other devices such as tablets, certain medical devices, smartwatches, vehicle SOS services, home security systems, and other connected products may be using 3G network services. We need to make sure people are informed and they do those check-ins with their companies and the devices that they're using to make sure that they're not going to get a really unpleasant surprise in a moment when they need it the most. Now, those who have an older generation cell phone should check the model number of their device. And those who are interested in recycling their older cell phone can visit an eco ATM or go to Kern County Special Waste Facility. Live in uh, Northwest Bakersfield, Brianna Polk, 23ABC News, connecting you.